morning, Dave the Sign Guy here. Thought I'd give you a quick video of what I've gotten done so far on the Astro Van. It's not a lot, but yet kinda is. So anyway, why don't we take a look? Let's take a look at what we're going to do with the solar. So this is a quick view of the solar panels I'm working on for the top of the van. There will be 800 watts of solar coming in to a Blue Yeti power bank. And I'll show you that real quick as well. It's sitting upside down so that I can better work on the system. Uh, there's still things I need to do. I actually broke one of my panels, which was very upsetting, but uh, while I wait for that to come in, I've managed to get every other part of it ready. Uh, it, it's, as I said, it is sitting upside down. There'll be more going on it, and I'll go over that a lot more in a coming video once it's on the van. Let's take a look at the Blue Yeti power system. Now, there are a lot of videos on this setup right here. It, I backed it on, I believe it was Indiegogo and got a dynamite deal on it. So let's take a quick peek. Comes with a nice bag and this is the system. This is what I'm putting in the van rather than wiring a ton of plugs and everything else. It's such a small area in the back of the van that I don't feel the need to run tons of wiring for power and USB. Everything will be within reach on this power system. I will be running some uh, 12 volt line for lights, but that's about it. Oh, and a water pump. So let's again, take a look. You got your power button right there. Two thousand watts. That's a pretty big system, and it's so easy to use. The panel, if it'll come in clear enough, is very self-descriptive. You can turn on your AC or your DC right here. Now, the DC is on. That simple. I love this thing. has wireless charging for two phones. Look at all the outputs. 25 amp output there, 10 amp output there, six 100 to 120 volt output powers right there, several USB. Input wise, you have your solar input and your 110 input. And I am gonna put a hole in the side of the van for that 110 input so that if you're camping somewhere you have power, or if you're at a friend's house or even home and you wanna charge it, you just plug it in. And as I said before, there'll be 800 watts of solar on the roof. I believe this only charges or takes up to 700 watts. Um, but wow, I, I just think this is one awesome setup for running a small camper van for all your needs in that small camper van. 
Why go through wiring a whole system when you can just buy one of these and be done? So that's a quick video of what I've gotten done so far on Astro. I didn't want to make a long drawn out video. I just figured I'd catch you all up of where I'm at. So anyway, thanks for watching and I really appreciate you. Uh, if you get a chance, please hit like and uh, you might even want to subscribe so you don't miss anything else I got coming up on the van. And there will be quite a few more things going on. This is Dave the Sign Guy signing out and I'll talk to you next time.